Well, hey everybody, we've been camped up here in a dispersed campsite in the Cache National Forest for just over a week. Yes. We spent uh, the 4th of July weekend up here with all of our girls and their families. Had a little bit of fun. Yeah, it was great. Some ATV riding. Didn't do a lot of video on that. Well, I did some video, but to be frank, it didn't turn out very well. Dang it. Happens. But hey, in today's video, we're going to go over to the Fossil Butte National Monument, which is located probably about 40 miles from where we're at. Sitting in the air-conditioned truck. One of those uh, remote national monuments in eastern Wyoming. And we've been there once. We did visit it. We visited it 21 years ago with our girls. But we thought we'd go over there and get a patch and a pin and uh, kind of showcase that for anybody interested in one of those kind of more out of the way places. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll probably stop in Garden City on the way back. Have a world famous raspberry shake. Um, Raspberries in season yet? Maybe not. Soon. Yeah, soon I don't know. Summer. Yeah. <sighs> The problem with the world famous raspberry shake right now is it might have been frozen raspberries from last fall. I don't know. Maybe we'll have well, an Oreo the, shake. The, ra the raspberries are are diminishing over there because of all the housing, though. Well, I'd say. Yes. Yeah, I, Garden City used to be very, very agricultural, a, agricultural based, and now it's become a, a lot of summer homes around that beautiful lake. Yes. Which is kind of crazy to see how it's grown up over the years. But. People got to live somewhere, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's get to her. Look, they're all hiding under that little bit of shade. <laughs> Don't you think their body heats like counterproductively? They shade? for me. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? You know, I don't know though. That sun is pretty darn intense. An alligator. Samples of different fossils that have been discovered here on Fossil Butte. That's a very small horse. I know. This looks like almost like a crocodile, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Really interesting, huh? A more temperate zone, especially if the, the palm leaves here were taken out of the quarry here. Yeah, so much warmer. People much, like you said, much warmer. Much warmer, much wetter. Yeah. So a pretty interesting stop. Unfortunately, they're out of pins and patches. Yes. So we'll probably just go ahead and order those off of the National Parks website. Which is a first for us yeah, to do that. But uh, so 52 million years ago, this was all a very more temperate climate. Yes. Very lush. And a lot warmer, they said. 
in a big lake. But it's warm here now. <laughs> so, I mean, warm, lush. It, there was crocodiles fossils and shrimp fossils. So, seawater maybe? You know, I don't know. That seems weird. It didn't really say whether the, the lake itself was fresh water or seawater. Maybe mm -hmm. we missed that. Yeah. But lots of palm fronds and like rainforest climate so, which is so weird to think here in this desert so one interesting thing is uh they had a uh, fossilized miniature horse in there uh, although that particular fossil shows evidence of four toes instead of hooves and this and very small like a cat i don't know rabbit size cat. he, he kind of referred to it as rabbit sized yeah. and uh and it would uh Hop around. hop around like a rabbit uh, but but it's a uh, ancestor of the horse so kind of cool there yeah lots of it, it means interesting what our earth has i don't know evolved from evolution yes versus creationism oh oh I, we're not gonna go there. I, I don't know <laughs> it was very odd to see things that from millions 52 million years ago Crazy. And, and it is uh, July 8th today, and uh, it's going to be a warm one today. It's probably in the mid-90s here now. Yeah. Um, we've put Pika and Jazzer in the truck with the air conditioner on. Several commercial quarries are, are still ongoing right now that are in private hands. Uh, he said that uh, the National Park Service has its own quarry, but mostly it gets just small fish out of that quarry. So what'd you think? Interesting. 52 million years ago, three Great Lakes covered areas of present-day Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. Lakes Goshoot, Inuinta, and Fossil Lake. The sediments they left behind created the limestone, mudstone, and volcanic ash layers of the Green River Formation. These rock layers preserve many remarkable fossils of plant and animal life in the Ecocene epoch of geographic time. Congress designated this area a national monument in 1972. Well, this is where I'm going to end this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and follow Angie, Chaz, and I on our journey. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road.